All right, so first let's take a look at the Loma here. Uh, let's click here in our RGB mixer here, and then click where it says monochrome. And that should make our uh, prominence information gone from our node here. Great. Now, uh, in order to see what we're doing, let's go ahead and change our chroma first. So select the chroma node and right click on top of it. And here where it says color space, we're going to change it to HSL. HSL, which means that the first channel, normally the red channel, is now controlling the hue. The second one is controlling the S for saturation. And the last one is controlling the luminance or the luminosity channel. So we're going to be getting rid of our luminance channel so that we only have chroma information, which is composed of the hue and saturation. So we're going to go to the third channel, represented by the blue, right, blue. So if you have it ganged here, you just want to check the blue one. And in the blue channel, we're going to get rid of all information by lowering. Excellent. And you can see basically that all information that's left is just our prominence information. And when you combine them, when you combine the Luma and the Chroma, you actually get the original image or very similar, not exactly the same, but very, very similar. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're not going to go into the details of the differences. So it's very, very similar. So uh, with the Lab A, we're going to change color space to lab and then we're going to be modifying only our a channel which is second channel right second channel is our a uh, information so r g is the second channel and we're going to increase the steepness of the curve for uh, red and green information like so we're going to do the same thing, except that in this one, we're going to change color space to lab and then only use the third channel for the B. So lightness, A, and then B channel. So B channel is represented by the B of the third channel and doing the same. We're going to increase the steepness of the curve. Since this image is white balanced, then we increase the steepness, preserving the middle point. Uh, if you wanted to modify the relationship, the colors, in other words, you want to make it bluer, then you can pull on the bottom a lot more. If you want to make it yellower, then you can just uh, do the opposite. All right, great. And uh, basically we can also combine some of the techniques that we've seen so far by also increasing the color boost information that goes into those nodes. So we're color boosting in color and then sending that information to A and B channels, which are increasing saturation by themselves. So they're not touching the luminosity information, just touching the prominence information, increasing the steepness of those curves, increases saturation directly to the prominence, and then of course, we combine them in this parallel node and then we get rid of the luminance information, leaving us only with the enhanced saturation information. At the end, we mix them with the layer mixer node in composite mode add and we get the result. If you wanted to tone this down, then you could come here and then adjust the gain for that channel. And uh, you get, of course, a lot more control over the saturation of your image by doing this technique because uh, every time that you modify luminosity, you're not modifying with it the, uh, the prominence information. So if you want to just uh, increase the contrast or whatnot, you're not really like touching the color information so you can adjust saturation separately. Excellent. Those two techniques obviously are a little bit more complex, but you can save them as power grades and uh, they would uh, give you a little bit more control over the saturation of your images. So 
those two videos, the first one and this one, allow you to have a little bit more control of the saturation of your images in DaVinci Resolve. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please make them known in the YouTube box down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.